Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see all about accumulator variable in PySpark. As the name suggests, accumulator variable is a shared variable that is used to perform aggregate operations such as sum and counter. Accumulator variable is shared by all the executors to update and add information. Updates from the workers will get propagated automatically to the driver program. But only the driver program is allowed to access the accumulator variable. As we all know, Spark works in master-slave architecture. That is, there will be one driver node and multiple executors which performs the task. Let's take an example of this data set which is shared across multiple worker nodes. This data set has the game information where the first column has the home country name and the second column has the host country name and the third column has the number of matches played. This data set is shared across all the worker nodes. We need to display the number of matches played by India. It can be a match played either in home country or in host country. We can have an accumulator variable in the driver program and update the accumulator variable based on the information received from the executor node. In this example, India played two matches in host country and four matches in home country and again two matches in host country and again seven matches in the home country. So we will initialize the accumulator variable as zero and we will increment the counter as we receive the updates from the worker nodes. At the end of the execution, the accumulator will have the value 5, which is the count of the number of matches played by India. Now let's see the practical implementation of the accumulator variable. First, let me import the Spark session and make it up and running. I am importing the Spark session and creating a Spark context. Let me run this. My Spark session is up and running. Now let me initialize my data set which has the game information, which has the home country name, the host country name and the number of matches played. Let me run this. Now I am going to create data frame for this data set with the schema home country, host country and the number of matches. Let me run this. My data frame is created with the three columns home country, host country and the number of matches. The first two columns are string and the third column is of long data type. Now I am going to create an accumulator variable and initializing the count to zero. Let me run the accumulator variable. If you see here, the value is initially set to zero. Now I have created a function to increment the accumulator variable. Only if the home country and the host country is India, I will add the number of matches played. Let me run this. Now using for each action, I am passing each element of the data frame to the counter function. Let me run this. Now I am going to print the value of the accumulator variable. Let me run this. I got the value as 15, which is the total number of matches played by India both in the home country as well as in the host country. I hope this video was very useful and you got a fair idea of what is an accumulator variable. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.